Desperate Deborah is a simulator for the impacted fetal head at cesarean section. It's been developed by ourselves here at NHS Fife, along with colleagues in Guys at St Thomas's Hospital in London, and brought into production by Adam Rooley. It recreates in a very lifelike way the experience of trying to deliver a baby's head when it's impacted deep in the mother's pelvis at cesarean section. In the later stages of the first stage or at full dilation, sometimes the baby's head can be so far down in the birth canal, in other words, so nearly born the normal way, that even at cesarean section it can be difficult to deliver the baby. The head can become impacted in the mother's pelvis. This has become a topical concern, particularly in recent years, with many devices and techniques described, in fact, over the last 50 years, but no real consensus as the best technique. Desperate Deborah is a very lifelike simulator that recreates the experience, so at least we can train doctors and have a discussion about the best ways to deal with this very serious problem. When it does occur, sometimes the mother can experience severe trauma with increased bleeding, and there are case reports of severe, sometimes even lethal damage to the baby. So with desperate Deborah, the position of the baby can be adjusted. It can be occipito anterior, occipito posterior, or any number of positions. The amount of impaction can be varied from the extremely difficult and almost impossible to less severe cases. And in addition, the flexion and deflection of the baby's head can also be adjusted. The trainer can set the position of the baby's head without the trainee being aware. And finally, the trainer can see what the trainee does to achieve delivery. Hi Lydia, thanks for coming. So we're going to run through the impacted fetal head at Caesarean on this simulator, Desperate Deborah. Um, as much as the actual experience of trying to get the head out is anticipating what you might do at each stage if it doesn't work. Right. So this woman is nearly fully dilated. You're going to do a vaginal examination, work out the position, and then the abdominal and uterine incisions are already made for you. Then you're going to do your caesarean. But if you have difficulty with the head, you've got to think what you'll do next. Yes. The first thing to do is to relax. The first thing to do is to let a uterine contraction pass. You might consider getting the bed as low as possible, the table as low as possible, you might need a stool. If you still can't manage, you might need someone to push up. Some people believe in it, some people don't. But if you do need someone to push up, you've got to think, who is going to move the drapes? Are there going to be instruments that fall on the floor? Who is going to move this leg? Who's going to move that leg? So prepare your team in advance. After your vaginal examination, you'd need to prepare your team, prepare your scrub nurse, prepare your floor nurse, prepare your assistant for the fact that you might need additional steps. And think about what those might be well in advance. I'll ask you to do the vaginal examination. Tell me what you find as you go along. I have an indicator here that tells me the position of the baby's head that you won't be able to see while you're examining. And I'll also be able to see whether you're flexing or deflexing the head in the process of delivery. Right. And in addition, this is an easy one, I have the option of screwing this in to make it more and more difficult and putting the baby in a range of positions from OT to OP to face presentation asynclitic deflex flexed. Okay, so it's L-O-T. I can confirm you got that right. Yeah, yeah and it does feel well down. It's probably below the spines and um, feels very wedged. Feels like it might be a tricky one. Yeah. Yeah, which is part of the assessment, isn't it? We have no better way of assessing that than experience very often. So your abdominal and uterine incisions are made. I'm your assistant, I'm also your scrub nurse. Go to deliver the head. Okay. So. Okay. Could I have the table down as far as it will go? Okay. That's the table as low as it okay. goes. And a step. Um, okay, <laughs> there's okay. one there. So tell me through what you're doing as you find it. So I'm trying to get my hand all the way down past the head. 
yeah. so that I can then flex it and bring it up into the abdomen. Yeah. And you've got the head well flexed there, I can see. <laughs> there. And a lovely successful <laughs> delivery.